Looks like a beautiful day outside, perfect day for debunking with this uh, mount. So I'll head out now from the hotel and uh, let's see what we can come up with. One of the common experiments done in the Flat Earth game is to look across a body of water to see if we can find any evidence of curvature. Now that's something I've not done personally, but uh, I decided to do it today. Yesterday when I was out at um, Princess Street and Avonmore Terrace doing a video of the sunset, I was looking across at Rottnest Island. Now that's about 12 and a half miles across the ocean. We can measure that. There you go, 12 and a half miles, 12.6. So it's enough distance away for there to be very clear evidence of curvature if the Earth is not flat. And uh, what I did is I obtained a couple of videos, one from the top of the hill and then another from down near at beach level. So my estimation of the elevation was about two metres down here at the beach and perhaps 30 metres, 100 feet at the top of the hill. So looking out across at Rottnest Island from those two different elevations, we should see some evidence of curvature, some evidence of um, objects or land masses being hidden by that curvature. Now, what I was focusing on, I actually did a 4K pan of the entire island from both elevations, and I'll upload those separately. They're quite large files, but the real money shot came when I was looking at this lighthouse, which is uh, Bathurst Lighthouse. Now, let's just put our man here, and I'll show you what the lighthouse looked like on the ground. There it is. Now, you can see that it's not directly at the water's level. It's on a slight hill. So if we can see that hill and the size of the hill changes from the two different elevations, that's going to be some evidence of curvature hiding the object. So without any further ado, I'll just show you the, uh, the two shots from 30 meters elevation and from two meters elevation. You can make up your own mind. So I'm just down at Cottesloe Beach in Western Australia, looking out across the ocean towards Rottnest Island. Now, I've just done a 4K video sweep left and right of the island, plus a few zoomed in shots with uh, digital zoom. And what I'll do now is just go up to the top of uh, Princess Street, which is just behind me, and uh, repeat the same exercise. Now, in actual fact, when I go to the top of the hill, I'm going to be slightly further away from the island. So it will be interesting to see what we can actually notice when we're at the higher altitude. So I'm now at the top of the hill. There's the camera set up and I'm about to do another 4K sweep of Rottnest Island from left to right, Avonmore Terrace and Princess Street. And uh, we'll just compare the two uh, videos from the water's level and this elevation, which is about 30 metres according to the GPS, about 100 feet, and uh, see if there's any difference. Plus I'll also take some still shots of the lighthouses to see if we can detect any evidence of curvature. This is something I haven't done yet, so uh, I'm curious to see the results myself. So here is a still shot taken from 30 metres elevation at the top of the hill, 12 and a half miles looking across at Bathurst Lighthouse on Rottnest Island. You can see clearly the ground level and the hill that the uh, lighthouse is built on. Now, when we went down to the water's edge, we were only two meters above the water, and you can see that that ground is now completely hidden by the curvature of the earth. We can only see the lighthouse. 12 and a half miles from two meters elevation, you can see there is a significant amount of that ground hidden. Now I have two videos which are full pans in 4K from left to right of Rottnest Island.
So I'm back at uh, Avonmore Terrace. This is the 30 metre elevation looking across at Rottnest Island and I've just got it uh, zoomed in on the wind turbine generator just for a point of reference. Now I'm just going to pan right to find that Bathurst lighthouse. There it is. And now as requested by one of the flat earthers who commented on my channel, do a zoom all the way in and out. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm zooming out. So you can see the location. Now I'm going to zoom right in. So there it is again guys, you're seeing the ground underneath the lighthouse hidden quite clearly. We'll pan left to find that wind turbine. There it is. So there's your point of reference. And now I'm going to zoom all the way out and then all the way back in again. So hopefully that's uh, exactly what you guys were asking for and uh, I'll post this video shortly back at the hotel. Well, let's see if we can notice any difference on this ship as well. So I'm down at the low location. So now I'll walk back up to the top of the hill and we'll have another look at this ship. So there's the same ship from the uh, top of the hill.